Don Harmon. I, Don Harmon. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution. The Illinois Senate has a new president after a rare special session today. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Emily Braun. The contest came down to campaign between Senate Majority Leader Kim Lightford and Senator Don Harmon. Our Capitol Bureau Chief Mark Maxwell covered the campaign for weeks and was there when Senate Democrats picked their new leader. Senate President Don Harmon takes over the reins of the Illinois Senate today. After 11 years of the reign of Senate President John Cullerton, he stepped away and Governor Pritzker stepped in to preside over the Senate for just a few moments. In the end, it was Senate Majority Leader Kim Lightford, once a front runner, who ended up nominating Senator Harmon for the very post that she and him dueled over for several months leading up to this climactic day in the state Senate. In the end, Senator Harmon offered the olive branch back and said she could keep her post as the majority leader as the two will look to steer Senate Democrats to political and legislative gains in the year to come. I'd like to place the nomination Senator Don Harmon. Choosing a new leader, especially among your peers, is a leap of faith. I stand before you humbled by your confidence. At times, the contest was vigorous and sometimes contentious. So as Martin Luther King said, unity is the great need of the hour. I want to assure my colleagues on both sides of the aisle that my door will always be open. And I want to express my gratitude to Senator Lightford for her commitment to partner with me to heal whatever rough edges may have emerged during the contest. Newly minted Senate President Don Harmon has a legal background. He's a lawyer by trade and for 17 years has been a state senator here. He's also demonstrated a keen ability to raise money and to wield manpower on the campaign trail. That was a very attractive attribute for Senate Democrats in swing races or tight races. They wanted to look to a new leader who could help them secure their reelection victory back to the Senate in another upcoming term. For now, Senate Democrats say they're coalescing and rallying around their new Senate president as he takes the reins. Reporting in Springfield, Mark Maxwell, back to you. All right, Mark, thank you so much. House and Senate Republicans challenged Senate President Harmon to back a plan to pass fair maps. Harmon will draw the new maps together with Speaker Madigan and Governor Pritzker after the 2020 census.